Today we're talking about deferrals versus accruals in the context of accrual accounting. And this is something that was the hardest concept for me to learn or wrap my head around, even though it's all about the fancy name for transactions we probably already know. Let's first start out with this. Deferrals starts with the letter D. So start thinking of deferrals as dollars before action. And start thinking about accruals starts with the letter A as action before dollars. Now, keep this in mind as we identify the four different transactions that could come up. So first we have a deferred expense. Now, again, it's deferred, it starts with the letter D, so let's think dollars before actions. So if we have an, a deferred expense, that means that we paid dollars before the action of incurring the expense. So this sounds a lot like an asset to me because our vendor owes us because we prepaid before it was incurred. So this is going to be a prepaid asset. Next, we have deferred revenue. Now, same thing. Think of the dollars before action. So if we receive dollars before the action of earning the revenue, that means we owe our clients. So this is gonna be a liability. And this is going to be unearned revenue. Now, as we get into accruals, we're gonna think of, okay, the letter A, accrual, action before the dollars came in. So if I have an accrued expense, this means that I incurred the expense before I actually paid the dollars for it. So this is going to be a liability. It's going to be an account payable. And now accrued revenue, actions before dollars. So I earned revenue before I received the dollars for it. So this is going to be an asset or an account receivable because my clients still need to pay me. So just think of deferrals as dollars and accruals as, as actions. And I hope this helps you as much as it helped me.